Well, hello everybody. I'd like to show you my basic processing flow, if you will. I'd like to say it follows some nice cohesive plan, but actually it doesn't. Uh, every image is different and it's it varies. However, there are some similarities that, and some things that I do on every image. And I'll show you what I do uh, for that. Now, the first thing I do uh, before, even before stacking as I check my images out and to do that I go into Pix Insight and I go over to the blink and that's under all processes here's the blink command and I'm going to go to my raw files that I collected so first I got to go to where they're at and for this tutorial I figured I'd start off by using my most recent image, and that was the Leo Tri Quattro Quartet. I'm having trouble saying it. Before I do that, I usually make separate folders to house all my images. And I've actually already done this, so I've already got the images in there. Let's, let me show you my luminosity. So I'd go through my luminosity data, and I'd Open it up. It takes a minute for it to boot up. And shortly it'll pop up here. And let me go to some of the, like, I think there was one of the uh, images that I discarded. because I, As I said, I've already done this. So let me get the dates. There you go, Massey. Hi, here's one I got rid of. All right, there's a one folder I get rid of. Okay, so they're all, it's all in here. And this you can just take a quick cursory overview and see if there's any streaking or anything in here. And you see this last one, this last thing here, this big thing, this was some type of an airplane or something that went by. And so that you don't really want in your, uh, in your image. So you would just click down here and get rid of it. And the rest of them, they look pretty good if you do a cursory review. Now I'm going to scroll in and dip it a little closer to see if the stars are nice and circular. And they look pretty good. So I'm happy with this. So what I would do is I would select this top one, select the bottom one, and then I would um, click that and save it somewhere. Now I have made a folder data and I've already made a folder called luminosity. And so that's where I'd save all that data. And then I would go in and do the same thing to the green, the red, and the uh, blue uh, subframes and check them out. But I've already done this, uh, so I, there's no need to do that. One other thing I should say, if you notice um, how this is really black right here, and then this is a little bit uh, less black. One thing you can do if, you, if it's really bad, you can highlight all these images. Okay. Oops, I didn't do it correctly. Let me start over again. Highlight the whole thing. And you see this top button up here? You can just click on that. And what's going to happen is it's going to normalize all these to the same uh, brightness. It'll make everything the same brightness. So then you can compare the uh, subframes uh, even better. Let's see what happens. Takes a minute for this to occur. And it's almost done. There it is. So now there are, now it's made the whole thing all the same brightness. So that's one thing you can do if you really want a good comparison between each uh, subframe. So that was B-Link, and that's the first thing I do. Before getting Pix Insight, and when I was just using Photoshop to do this, I would use Adobe Bridge. Uh, this is what I would do in Adobe Bridge to check out the subframes, and then I would stack it in Deep Sky Stacker. Okay, that was the B-Link 
command. That's what I do in order to check out the images before I do anything, before I do any stacking or anything. I should also mention, if you want some more information on this, more in-depth information, I would recommend going to Astro Dude on YouTube. He gives a great explanation on everything. He, go, he does it very slowly and goes into very, very minute detail. Another good website is Chuck Aweb. He does a great job. He does very quick videos and he would get you set up right away as well. Anyways, uh, that's all I have. This was my first installment. This was the B-Link and I will continue to do my general overview and some upcoming videos. Thank you.